It's time for every play City Skylines 1. Why City Skylines 1? I don't know. Everyone's kind of doing it, and I thought, you know, I think it makes sense. We've got all these mods and stuff. We well, I'm not I don't really use mods, but we've got um all the DLC we bought and everything, and there's not really anything yet for City Skylines 2. They were supposed to have DLC a quarter ago, and they still don't, at least as the time I'm recording this. So let's uh, start a city here too. So I'll kind of jump back and forth between the two, as well as the other games I like to play. This is going to be a really quick starting session, because I have some stuff to do in real life today, but um, I just kind of want to get started on this. <coughs> I, I will say one thing that I really like about Sea Skylines 1 uh, is that we've got all the different size assets. I didn't really appreciate it at the time, all the different schools and everything. I was like, why do we have so many different schools and so many different high schools and blah, blah, blah. And uh, not only does it make for a more varied city, but it also allows you to have different, um, to have, uh, all right, so here I am in this, the topography here is very interesting. All right, but this being City of Skylines 1, uh, we can't ignore, um, the, uh, Power, but I guess we gotta do a road first just to get things started. I'm just gonna connect these two guys like that. There we go. So now people can go in and out. All right. Um. So. I'm gonna go. Did we do it? What's buzzing? Let's watch it's charged. Here you go, Scarlet. All right. Um, so I did. I tried to do win last time, and that was a disaster. Um, coal is way cheaper than advanced coal, so I'm just going to start with this. And yeah, it sucks that it's going to pollute, but such is life. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this guy. Oh, I have to make a road first. This is not like City of Skylines 2, where I can later bring the road to it. Um, Alright, so we've got a two late road with white sidewalks. We've got a road with a median. What else do we have? Oops. We've got a medium road. Large road. Alright, so I'm going to do is I'm going to start... We even start off with... um. Dirt roads. All these roads they have. All right, we do. All right. So I'm going to take... I'm, I'm going to get back to this, but... um, Definitely want to take a page from... City Planner Plays. It's way cheaper in the beginning. I think that's probably going to be just fine. Um, But just to... Really expensive, but to keep from having to immediately... um replace this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to do... Alright, we probably have to bulldoze that guy. Alright, so we'll take a medium. Maybe to here. I have another one. That. There we go. Alright, that's just to, you know, start us off. But now going back to the regular roads. And basic roads only, please, for the moment. Rather gravel road. Gravel road. Coming out this way. And we definitely. That is something. All right, um... That's a mess is what that is. Um... Well, so it goes. Do that. People can go to each spot. All right, anywho. Get electricity going. Pop that guy right there. 
Then back to our gravel roads. We'll head out in this direction. Alright, that's not a good place to start at 90. Let's do it from maybe here. Alright, cool. And so let's start in our grid then. Go like that. Alright, and we'll plop our first credential in here. And let's start the clock. Alright, so. I think that's a decent, decent size. Going with this. Hundred and forty, okay. I definitely missed that about the the skylines too, where it would That is some weird looking topography there. Um <coughs> where it lets you know without any mods. Oh boy, that is ugly AF. Uh, at least the buildings have a lot more variety. I know that's something everyone's complaining about. It's kind of like the thing to complain about in this game, but... Um... <laughs> but it's true. There's just so much more variety. City Skylines 1. You know what? These guys don't have any electricity because electricity does not run along roads in City Skylines 1. Whoopsie daisy. So if this would get out of my way, I would run some electricity to them. We'll do it down here. There we go. All right, they also need some water. I think we're going to start with a water tower. I think... Water tower... There... Get water connected. Again, in this game, water does not follow roads. That's definitely the best thing about City Skylines 2. Alright, I think everyone should be happy water-wise now. Orange is the new black, haha. Huh? Alright, cool. So, you know... In some ways, not as pretty as Sea of Skylines 2, in other ways, prettier. Very interesting. Alright, now these guys are like, but where's our wastewater gonna go? Ah, it's all running back. Alright, so we definitely gotta fix that situation. Let's see, what can we do? Got the inland water treatment plant. You know, I think I definitely wanna do that, because I don't want to. I don't wanna discharge the water into the ocean. That's just gross. I'll just put it over here by the. Like by the power plant. It'll be kind of like our yucky area. He is not connected somehow. Even though he looks like he should be. Alright, cool. Now people should stop complaining about their gross, gross water. Maybe. Alright, we'll do a frontage road over here. Funny, I'd seen that word a million times, but I never knew what it meant until City Planner plays. Alright, we'll do some commercial. And before I forget, I should probably start doing some pathways and... I have the ability to, do I? Oh, I guess I can't yet. So that's gonna have to wait. Alright, let's get some more housing built. I forgot to see how much this cost. This is 260. All right, so 260 by 140. What have we got here? We've got the quiet corner shop. I like it. <coughs> there. A residential right here. Oh, I probably need to... Yep, water. I don't remember that, because this is not City Skylines 2. Oops. That guy went... A little... Q, there we go. 
All right. Definitely. Definitely like that you don't have to do that in City Skylines too. All right, so we'll do that there. I think I'll leave this, or maybe a little park or something in the future. Keep going. We're at 114 people. Doesn't really meet the pattern so much, does it? That's where that should be. Well, as uh, City Planner Plays says, Maybe we can call a mulligan, but then again, um, maybe not because, well, be a real, real heck of a mulligan, but I, th I think we have to. I think let's get rid of that, and sorry guys. Alright, so that'll be a really skinny area for businesses. Oh, I see cars driving in, that's pretty cool. Right, so we have this little skinny commercial area near the highway. Again, we'll leave that for some parks or something going forward. All right, let's see. I'm going to say I'm going to do 15 minutes. A little, little pause at that point. All right, looks like we need some um, industrial now. So to start off, I'm just going to put it over here and let this be like the gross area. But eventually, I think I'll make some like industrial parks and stuff, especially once I can start making like clean industry and so on. So let's see if we can do the same here. What we got here 160. Were we doing 160 going this way? We're doing 140 by 260. All right, 140 by 260. The 140 would be. Hmm, I think I need to do it from back here. But something is there. The 140 would be here, I guess. We'll go up like. What is occupying this land? Oh, a. Uh, Power line, I think. All right, that's fine. So let's do it off of here first, then. Let's do our frontage road. And then off of the frontage road, we go. Um, let's see. That's 180. Did I want to do it again? Yeah, I write this down. All right, so 220. Alright, so 160 is about right there. Right. Okay. You know what? This side street's just gonna be this size, because getting annoyed. Alright. We'll put some industry over here. Some of those guys zoning in. That was 160. Right. Very good, very good. Probably the uh, water treatment is losing us the most money. Uh, gotta run some pipes. Okay. I think there's a little more residential land, so we'll swing this way. Starting off nice and rectangular. Later we'll start to meander and stuff as we get closer to the river over there. I picked this place because there's lots of rivers, so lots of little opportunities for interesting, interesting shapes. Right. More industrial domain going on over here.
rank. So, I think we should probably make another intersection right there. The cars don't have to keep doing these weird uh, roundabouts to get over there. Two people. Excellent, excellent. Alright, still some more and four housing. Put that in. Alright, good. need. We got did I send up there? I did. Okay. Looks like there's people making U-turns and just leaving, like not even moving. Yeah, it's hilarious. They're just like, oh, sorry, we didn't mean to get off in this little podunk town. Whoopsie. All right, let's make one more block and then that'll be it. Or one more set of blocks, I should say. Almost making money. Good. That's good to see. Alright, All right, I'm going to go ahead and... Oh, we're making a little tiny bit of money. Maybe going to ruin that by bringing this little lower down, but I think maybe about here I want to have another connection. So let's grab our currently our country road. Oh, that. We go from there to there, from there to there. And all the way across to there. Perfect. Alright, I'm really looking forward to when things open up a bit here, but um, so far, other than having to continuously run the water pipes, it's not horrible. Alright, so we've got one, two, three, four five of the same building together so maybe if you're not using like content creator packs and stuff like that um it it can be um it it well, or maybe exaggerating a little bit how much more variety there is but at the same time I am generally seeing more variety than I do in Skylines 2. Alright, some cars coming in instead of just doing UEs. That's good. People running around.
All right, so I'm hoping to use all the stuff I've learned from Digital Planner Plays, from Sea of Sky Islands 2, make things a little less boring than I have in the past. Although, you know, just starting out now, we're waiting to unlock stuff. Um, it can be a little, um, you know, it's a little rudimentary at the moment, but nothing wrong with that yet, I don't think. We're very close to the next unlock. just need 500 people and we're really gonna start having all kinds of demands all right so I think let's end things that we would normally do with the cinematic mode which I love that this is just built in to uh, City of Skylines 1 that I don't have to manually do it like I do in Skylines 2 although uh, Skylines 2 does have the follow the car feature nice and close. This one's a bit further up, but it is kind of dynamic and kind of neat. And that little t tilt shift type feature. So, you know, not much to look at just yet. It's a little tiny, tiny, tiny city, but... I wonder if that tree has, like, died because it's next to so much pollution. That'd be hilarious. All right, well... <laughs> oh, whoa, that is trippy. I guess it's following this person who's like, I don't know. It's like, it's like trying to make it look like there's an earthquake or something. I don't understand what's happening there. Huh. All right, then. This has been Eric playing City Skylines 1. I will see you next time. Goodbye.